Okay, six clamps. We're gonna hold it down. Um, six clamps really don't hold that much, but we needed six. If you look at it over here, you'll notice that my point back here is way, way back from where I'm clamping on the shaft. So my leverage is against me. All six of those is about the same as if you had two with a good advantage. So you've always got to look at what you're doing. And someone might say, well, you could really clamp it down. Yeah, you could strip out the threads on the bolt, bend the table. You can do all kinds of things if you want to do it wrong. But um, more there. Also, I will end up shimming underneath here and adding an extra clamp on top for a little bit more rigidity. What we're doing is we're extending this key back. This shaft uh, was made to the wrong spec. It was made three inches longer than it needed to be. And the measurement from the, for the key was correct from the end, but the end was in the wrong place. So now that we've corrected the end, we need to correct the key by extending it back. Something else here, which I found really interesting, and I've seen this before, step blocks. You look at this, and we put some leverage out there. It just wants to hinge and fall away. And unfortunately, you can't really see that. But if we take these Tico ones, while I can make it pull away, it, I can push down a whole lot. They fit better. They really do. Um, I tried to order all Ticos, but there's been a few times, initially, I didn't have the money. So the first two sets I bought, I was just cheap. Did not have the money. When I had the money later on, I ordered another six sets of Ticos, the A-hole distributor, and I don't remember who it was, they had substituted, and in fine print, they said Tico or some equivalent that we have in stock. They changed hands. The company was owned by somebody else previously, and I had bought other Tico stuff from them. I was not happy. Nonetheless, they both will work in a lot of cases, but in this case here, I definitely wanted the Ticos because I'm not holding on much. Small area there. I made sure I had the Tico clamp, Tico uh, step blocks all the way along. And on these clamps too. Normally, we're saying on your part that you're clamping, we want to have it slightly down so that you're in the middle of the pressure. Well, in this case, I wanted this end slightly down so that I'm pressuring here instead of if I'm on the edge just trying to knock this stack over. So it's the same idea as when you're clamping a flat part. We're not clamping a flat part though. Our block on the backside is what matters for getting a good clamp on the flat part.